Hey guys, so I thought I would do a different location today. This is my downstairs. It's a beautiful sunny day out, so I have some nice natural lighting from the window and the kids are napping upstairs, so I have some time to do the April favorites. And before we get into the video, please remember to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos moving forward. And let's get into the April favorites. So first I have two like lotion-y products. The first one is by Molten Brown, and this is the Exquisite Vanilla and Violet Flower Body Lotion. I really, really like this scent. I think I talked about this lotion in one of my previous videos. Um, it's really nice. It's just, I like anything that has like a vanilla scent to it. It's just one of those scents that you smell it and it's just like, I don't know, comforting, I guess. I also do a lot of baking, so I really do like vanilla flavored items. The next one is one that I got in a daily goodie box, I believe. And this is the Adamia, I believe it's called, Therapeutic Repair Lotion with Macadamia Oil. And I've used quite a bit of it already. Um, and it says, when skin hurts, life hurts. Relief is finally in your hands. So I've been using this at night and I have noticed a difference in my cuticles and my um, the skin on my hands. It's just a lot more moisturized and not as dry and cracking, which is nice. So I've been really loving this one lately. Moving on to... Let's move on to some body products. So for some body products, I have been loving the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting Face and Body Glow in Tahitian Glow. That's a mouthful. So it comes in this giant compact. And inside you get a puff, a little clear um, protective sleeve, and then this giant pan of bronzer. And it's like a baked bronzer. It has like a little bit of peachy pink and brown swirled together. Let me show you what it looks like on. Okay, so no tan here. And now I have an instant tan down here. I just think that it's so nice. It looks really natural. It's not very shimmery. I mean, it has a slight sheen to it, but it's not glittery in the least. I just think that it really warms things up. I use this on my neck, my chest, especially if I'm not as dark as the makeup that I'm wearing. So I've been loving this. I've been wearing it quite often. And I actually have that on my lids today because let's, let's face it, I was having a lazy makeup day. All right, and then as far as face bronzer, I have been loving the Sonia Kashuk um, Undetectable Cream Bronzer. And this is rich bronze. I believe this is the darker of the two. The lighter one would be good too, but I picked up the darker one. Who knows why? But it's really nice because I don't usually have time for like cream contouring and such, but what I do is I just dip my beauty sponge in and then I just start patting it around on my face, especially on the perimeters of my face. And it just gives me this really warm glow, which I love. So down here is the Laura Geller body frosting and this is the cream bronzer and yeah I just put it all along the perimeter of my face along my uh, jaw or on my jaw on my cheekbones and then once I set it with powder it kind of lightens so this color is actually perfect for me once it's set with the powder so I love this I'm not usually a cream anything person other than foundation but I've been really enjoying this one it's not replacing my Revlon bronze beauty highlight or bronzer but it's a close second Next, let's go on to some face products. I am still using the Pixi, the Pixi Multi-Misting System, but mostly I am using the Makeup Fixing Mist, the pink bottle, and the Glow Mist, the like greenish bottle. So I've been using these a lot. You can see that I probably use this one more because it's all the way down here. I don't want a glowy look every single day, but on days like today when it's like a light makeup day, it's nice to kind of have that like fresh glow. So I've been loving these. Next is a highlighter slash primer. I use it as a highlight. That is the Lorac Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer in the shade Dawn. And it's that one that I mentioned before. It's like a pinky purple. You can use it under your makeup as a primer, mixed with your foundation or your moisturizer for like, you know, some glowiness or applied on top of makeup to brighten and highlight. And that's what I do. Let me just put some here. Okay, so it looks like a white primer. But once you 
rub it out. It's like this pinky violet iridescent color, which is just so pretty. And since it's a cream, it just sits really well on my face. Like it blends in so well. I'm putting it right on top and it doesn't move anything around. It's very refreshing feeling. I don't know if you can see it on top, but it's really nice. I really like this. At first I thought I was never gonna use a purpley pink primer, but then I started using it as a highlight and that is actually how I like to use it. Next, let's move on to lips. The first one is the, again by Lorac, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tale Lip Duos, and this one is in Trident. These I talked about in my Pirates videos not too long ago. They have a lipstick on one end, and I think I still have room to swatch here. There's the lipstick. It's a really nice, like, nudie color. I would say, like, a rosy nude color. And then on the other side is a nice, like, peachy gloss. And together, they're so beautiful, and this lasts a long time. It's not, I don't think it's advertised as like a long wearing lipstick, but this lasted almost all day on me, which is really impressive for a non-liquid lipstick. And it also comes with a mirror built into the packaging, which is brilliant. <laughs> the other lip product that I've been really loving is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Rose. And I, again, with the packaging, I think this is really smart. Has a lid on the one end and then a sharpening lid on the other. So you're never without a sharpener, which I think is really good. I'm, I don't know, I'm a sucker for smart packaging. But anyway, here is what it looks like. It's a really nice cool tone rose color and you're supposed to line your lips with this and then fill it in and this lasted so long on me. I've worn it, I would say three days out of the last week, which is impressive if you saw how many lip products I own. <laughs> so I really like this one. I really like the color. It's really, really pretty. I would say on people with like fair light skin tones. So definitely A plus for me. And then this one's not a lip product per se, but it is the Nude Sticks highlight pencil and this is in the champagne color. Again, you have the pencil on the one end and the sharpener cap on the other. And I'll draw it over here. There's the highlight. And I like to apply it right here, which I did today, on my Cupid's bow and then the inner corners of my eye. And it's a really intense glow, which I like. You can also put it under your brows and then blend it out a little bit for that highlighted brow effect. I just feel like there's so much you can do with this and it's so easy. I would pop this in my purse if I needed something, a little bit of glow during the day. I just think this is a really, really nice pencil. And then finally is the mascara combination that I have found to work the best for me in the month of April. I've been trying to get that like false lash look without actually having to apply false lashes. And I've taken tips from other YouTubers that I have followed, like um, Nikki French did a tutorial on how to achieve lashes that look false and there are a bunch of steps and I've used a few of them um, and other people have posted and I've kind of taken the best of all the videos that I've seen. And what I found to work is to put a waterproof mascara on first to hold the curl because waterproof means it's not supposed to go anywhere. So I feel like they hold the curl better and I've been using the CoverGirl Super Sizer Waterproof Hydrofuge Mascara first. And then since false lashes are really, really black, I use the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara I know Jaclyn Hill raves about this one. I've also been liking this. So this gives my lashes that really dark color. And then since neither of those are really great for like separating, I use the Voluminous Feline Mascara from L'Oreal. This one has a pretty small wand, but it has so many bristles to really separate. So I do those three. I do the waterproof, I do the carbon black, and then I do this one. And I feel like it makes my lashes look very full, very dark and long. So, that is it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.